everybody and welcome to Excel video 342 in moresolutionsinc.com series on how to use Excel in a medical practice. Yesterday's project was I had a group that was getting all their benefits and eligibility information from an outside vendor and they sent them an Excel spreadsheet every night. And they said, can you take that Excel spreadsheet, combine it with the practice management data in SQL Server and spit us back something we can use to create a super bill with and customize it for all this benefit and eligibility information that's coming. And sure. We've got that going. When you're ready to do something similar with practice data in your practice, I'd love to help you. Remember last time what we had was a data table where we could put a formula here and then use that formula with these inputs to change the interest rate and get these results. What we're going to do this time is add another variable to the mix and say, all right, we're not just going to vary interest rate. We're going to vary the term or the number of years in our loan. The thing to watch first is notice where the formula is here in cell B8. Here I needed to move it to cell B7 for this data table to work and you'll see I've added years 1 to 15 and the term is now in my column. So here's the term and I'm going to store those values here in my column. The interest rate goes in this row and now here's how it works. I've got the formula here and then I'm going to expand to include all of the variables that I want to vary in this formula. I'm going to go to the data tab, what if analysis, and data table. And it's only going to ask me two questions. It says, all right, Nate, I need to know what row you want to, uh, has the values that you want to input. And I said, well, all those rows need to go right here in cell B3. All right, Nate, I see the column, the first column in your data table. Where does that need to go? That needs to go here in cell B4. So I'm set up to vary the interest rates in the rows, the term in the columns, and all I've got to do is click OK. And Excel says, OK, Nate, here you go. What I'm going to do is Control, Shift, and Down, and Home. Let's make those just a little bit easier to see. In fact, I'm going to hide the pennies if that doesn't bother you, just to give us a feel for what the interest rate and the term does to the loan. So if we have a 5% interest rate, and we only have one year, we're only going to make 12 monthly payments. Our monthly payments are going to be 23,005. And if the interest rate goes up to 10%, then those monthly payments go up to 24,000. On the other hand, if I have a 15 year loan at 5%, my monthly payments are going to be 2175. If it's a seven year loan for 10 years, 7% loan for 10 years, 3193 is the amount of my monthly payment. And I could get that same amount over here. I could do 7 is my percent, and what did we say 10, 10 years? This 3193 is that 3193. The only difference is the way that this cell is displayed based on the formatting. So it's easy to do go from one variable to two. The biggest catch is make sure that you move the formula from here up a row here so that I've got a data table with rows and columns, terms versus interest rates. That's great. Well, what if I want to change the loan amount? I've only got two dimensions in my data table, but I've got an idea for you to help you tweak this loan amount, and we'll start with that next time. Thanks for watching.